So we have something kind of special that's not on the agenda right now that I think all of you are going to uh, really enjoy. Um, it was a reach. And uh, like I told Jake at lunch, it was about a 10% chance. But as he said, uh, it would be zero if you didn't try. Um, and uh, what I'll be uh, describing will come in, <clears throat> just came in late morning um, today. Um, it's from someone that uh, probably quite a few of you know personally. Um, and one thing that I was thinking is we may be a virtual institute, but this is physically our furthest reach yet. Um, so what we're gonna do is run a video, um, run, this risk, run this greeting, and then um, Jake Bleacher is gonna come up and share some um, personal thoughts and, uh, and observations. And I definitely wanna encourage all of you to please stay afterwards for the student lightning talks, which are always some of the favorite uh, things for me for the forum. Without further ado, let me introduce Dr. Jessica Watkins from the International Space Station. <laughs> Hi, I'm NASA astronaut Jessica Watkins, coming to you from the International Space Station. I'm living and working aboard the station for about six months, conducting scientific research and performing technology demonstrations that will help pave the way to the Moon and Mars. As a planetary geologist, all that you do to push lunar and small body science forward is near and dear to my heart. We're at the start of a new and very exciting era in exploration science, with the first commercial landers planned to set down on the lunar surface in a matter of months. And in just a few years, the Artemis program will follow by putting astronauts on the surface of the moon for the first time in over half a century. For scientists like you and me, this represents an incredible opportunity to understand our nearest celestial neighbor like never before. And with this knowledge, we can learn to live sustainably on the moon as well as eventually on Mars. I am so excited about what you all have done so far in planning for science on the lunar surface. What robots will do, what humans will do, and what we'll do together. With all the insight that the Apollo samples continue to bring, as well as the great results from LRO and other missions, I can only imagine how far our upcoming missions will take us together. I hope you have a great NASA Exploration Science Forum and enjoy your time in Boulder, my hometown. Ad Astra. So um, anyway, wow, wow. Are we looking at uh, um, the Neil Armstrong of the uh, 21st century here, perhaps? <laughs> we'll, we'll see, but my fingers are, are crossed. So um, Jake, would you like to come up and share some personal thoughts? Yeah, that would, uh... That's really amazing. I think Greg captured it correctly that uh, this is really the farthest reach of any of our virtual institutes to this point. Uh, we now are, are a virtual institute that's in orbit as well. So I think that's pretty amazing. But um, we mentioned this morning, uh, Greg and, and some of the directors before Greg have always had an early career breakfast um, to kick off the, the survey forum. And uh, we did today as well, and had some really good questions in there. And, and a few of the questions were about, um, you know, how do you how do you move a career path in certain directions? And I think most of us there answered somewhat similar. You know, taking advantage of your opportunities. And uh, Jessica, the first time I met Jessica, um, I was actually running a review panel for Sarah Noble, and Jessica was assigned as my executive secretary. And so it really demonstrates the importance of getting out there and getting involved and volunteering to take part. Um, this truly is a community. Uh, it's wonderful having a scientist, a geoscientist, someone with interest in studying the moon uh, up on orbit right now. Uh, Jessica is also a member of the Artemis team, which means that she's among a group of astronauts who could be assigned to Artemis missions moving forward. Um, 
and uh, you know, we made a point this morning too about, you know, it's always good to look for advice from people ahead of you, but it's also good to kind of take a glance back and make sure that you recognize your position as somebody that can help others who are coming after you. And I think this is just a perfect example of that. Um, you know, years ago, Jessica would have been someone who was asking for opportunities at events like this. And now we're in a position where we're asking Jessica to help us out and, and do something like this. Um, and it just, again, drives home the point of the community here. We are the community of scientists uh, that will be exploring the moon and beyond and out into deep space. We will be the folks that are working together. So look out for each other, take care of each other, be kind to each other. We're all part of a team here, you know, from Jessica on, on orbit and, and maybe on the moon to every single thing that each one of us is working on to try and help, uh, help prepare her and others to do those jobs when we get them there to the moon. So just wanted to take that opportunity to kind of drive that home. Um, Jessica's a, a special person. I think a number of us in this room probably have very similar stories. In fact, I know <laughs> David was just mentioning his to us a little while ago. So, um, you know, again, keep rooting for each other, help each other out and, uh, and let's do this. Let's, let's go explore the moon.